What's going on you guys? Back again with another luxury home tour. We're gonna show you another brand new model home here in the Northern San Fernando Valley in the city of Porter Ranch. My name is Darren Kriz and the home we're taking a look at features a total of five bedrooms, five bathrooms, 3,703 square feet of interior space and it's currently priced to start at just $2.1 million. Let's go check it out. So we are on the cul-de-sac at the very top of the hill here in this Porter Ranch community and you can see this driveway curves up to your three-car garage. Tons of beautiful landscaping including this tree out here in this front yard. And here's your walkway. I love the pink flowers to both sides as you come up here. Sleek modern garage door to my left with the blue tint. Beautiful, custom, coastal, transitional modern exterior. But now let's go up. I'm a big fan of all of the stonework on the exterior and you're gonna see a lot of that inside as well. But let's go in because this one will blow your mind. Let's check it out. All right, here in the front entryway, look at these floors. The floors are absolutely beautiful and you can see this hallway extends all the way to your pool, the backyard. You can already get a glimpse at some of those views, but as you come in through your front door, you see this chandelier hanging right down from those high 25 foot ceilings and you have a bridge directly above me. There's two bridges actually for the top level. You can see another one as we keep making our way down this way. But first there is a little walkway when you turn right as you enter the home. Here's the powder room. We initially enter the powder room as you come in, turn right, as I said, the same floors extend into the powder room. Floating vanity with no cabinet space, a very simplistic area, but I love the wall right here. You have a little bit of a ledge and then a mirror covers the entirety of the wall from the sink to the ceilings here in this powder room. But right outside of here, you have a coat closet. And then down this way, this is the first bedroom of the house. So here in the first bedroom, this could be your maid's quarters, your guest bedroom. We have custom updated walls going up to the ceiling behind the bed. I love all the customary shelving and cabinet work over on this side though. As you see, you have a built-in mini fridge down here. You have drawers to both sides in the dark wood tone, countertop space, shelf space on both sides with actually there is marble stone on the backsplash of every single one of these spaces. So I think that is a beautiful touch for your in-laws suite or your guest bedroom so that when they come in here, they'll definitely feel at home. And there's a space right here for a chair so you can make a little bit of a desk. All right, this room is also en suite and right across from the bathroom, there is your closet space, but come into this bathroom. So carpeted flooring in the bedroom, but in here we have a gray tile and then top of the line finishes with your vanity, quartz countertops, a sleek modern cabinet down there beneath. And here's your shower, beautiful shower, custom tile on the flooring and on the walls as well, chrome shower head, but let's keep moving on. Lots to see in this one. All right, making our way back into the grand entryway. Check out this floating staircase with the black stairs right above me. This is incredible. One of my favorite staircases that we've seen on this channel. I love the contrasting tones in the white walls with the black staircase. And look at that wall. That is an upgrade, top of the line, upgraded wall from the floor all the way to the ceiling and it matches nicely with the floors beneath us. Beautiful modern chandelier hanging right above, a little bit larger than the one we saw above that front door. And now follow me backwards this way because this is a very unique space right here. So it can be closed off with these sliding glass doors. And this is your office. As you look out these windows, you have a beautiful tree in your landscaping with your side yard. You can see some turf out there as well. Staging is unbelievable. You have a glass desk for your office. So check this out. Imagine you're here doing some work. You have a meeting. You tell your client to come in through the front door and they arrive to your office space through the sliding glass doors. You close it off. You have a TV flat screen up there on, up there on that limestone wall. Entire wall is limestone as well as this one over on the opposite end with two light fixtures surrounding the piece of artwork in the very center. But enough of that office space. Here is the open living, the fantastic layout of this home. All right, so we'll first check out this entire space and then we'll show you the backyard. But first, look at this great room, the family room, super high ceilings. That's, they have to be at least 30 foot ceilings above me with beautiful light fixtures hanging above in those pod-like shapes. And directly behind me, look at this. Temperature controlled wine room. I'm gonna walk into here, 
completely glass enclosed wine wall to my left. Look at the staging, this is unbelievable. Can you imagine? It's just on display for all of your guests and family to see right in the center of your open space in your living room and in your kitchen. But so here in this great room, we have fireplace surrounded by limestone that goes all the way up to those high, high ceilings. Flat screen TV on the wall, so much space for a couch. And there's your backyard. Don't look at that just yet, just a little sneak peek into there. The staging here, as I said, always perfect, incredible. I like how they have a couch facing the kitchen as well, so you don't have to be distracted by the TV from that other couch. This is more of an informal seating area. But now here we go. Here is your luxury chef's kitchen with your pantry room right off the kitchen, right there. Always got to remind you to eat in your pantry. Close off that window door. Now here it is, Center Island in Caesar Stone finishes. Waterfall edge in here. Sub-Zero fridge and freezer. Let's open that up. Brand new, hasn't even been touched yet. Sleek cabinetry throughout the entirety of your kitchen. But first, let's go into this space behind your fridge and freezer. Now let me know in the comments what you guys would do with this area. It's super unique. It's more like a desk space I could see maybe some kids doing some homework in here. It's just a private office area that's separate from the formal office that we saw earlier on. But this is where your garage is. They're doing a lot of storage in there so we don't have to check that out. So this could technically be a mud room, an office space room, but you have really nice finishes in your drawers down here below. Plenty of storage. And then the floating shelves add a nice touch as well. So you can put some books or whatever you need. Let me know what you would do with this room. But back into the kitchen, built-in oven. That's a large oven right beneath your built-in microwave. Wolf appliances. And as we keep moving, quartz countertops, linear backsplash in the light gray tone. Modern cabinetry surrounding your hood vent. Look at this, six burner gas stove. Dual ovens, so that's a total of three ovens. You saw the first one, two more under the six burner gas stove. So much countertop space going all the way to this wall and trash compactor, cove, dishwasher. Now off your kitchen is your dining room area and you can already see into the beautiful greenery of the mountains out here in the valley. I love the light fixture hanging above your dining table. They staged this with just luxury in mind, honestly, with these dining room chairs as well surrounding the table. And I think it's about time. We probably should go outside one more glimpse at this open layout, open concept living, sliding glass doors to lead you to the backyard. So let's do it. Here it is. Here it is. I'm just blinded by that Los Angeles sun. It is unbelievable. Just a perfect day up here in the northern San Fernando Valley. Now look at your pool. I absolutely love it. What can I even say? Zero edge pool. We walked up a couple of steps. It's surrounded by some black stone that leads down into the, the rock area. But now look at this. So this is your bar. You have some dining out here. The stonework is absolutely unbelievable. This center area, you can put your bottles, whatever you need to get cool. So more of that exterior stone finishes that we saw on this side, on the outside of your bar. Now they're still doing some work. As I said, they literally finished these model homes last week. So that's why the fridge and freezer are still not put in. They're not fully built in. But now that backsplash behind your Fire Magic barbecue grill might be the coolest stone I've ever seen. Uh, this is my first time seeing it. And that blue tone is absolutely incredible. I'd put that, imagine that on your, the countertops in your kitchen on your center island maybe. I don't know what it's called, but I gotta figure that out. That pattern, that stone, unreal. But enough of that stone, several waterfall features flowing into the pool, views of the valley. I'm gonna walk around the pool now and show you guys that jacuzzi area. But first actually there's a quick glimpse into this covered section, covered patio area with a Fan, built-in speakers, some lighting, wood-burning fireplace, elevated spa on this corner side of your pool, and you have a little private area over here. Outdoor seating, you have a fireplace. What more could you ask for? And over in the far back of this backyard, more steps that lead into your jacuzzi so you don't have to walk. So it makes it a little bit more convenient. Couple of day beds facing that spa, and now this is the money shot. 
come over here, check this out. This is, this is a beautiful backyard. They always do a great job. Shout out to Toll Brothers once again, but this is it. Leave a like for this backyard, honestly, because I think it's a 10 out of 10. Let me know. All right, we're back inside, and we just showed you everything on this first level, the inside and the backyard, but now we gotta head upstairs and show you guys some of the bedrooms. Heading up the modern staircase, we get a little bit closer to that chandelier in the center of the house, but here we are as we head up. Directly in front of me, some storage space, the same finishes that we saw in the kitchen. And here is one of those two bridges up here. Now this bridge is in the very center of that front door and that first chandelier as we saw as we entered. And then immediately, quick glimpse into your laundry room. It's right on the opposite side of this bridge. Whirlpool, washer and dryer. And as you follow me this way, here is the common space. Up on your second level, you have a window looking out into some of the other homes, the beautiful greenery in the mountains out here. Fan directly above me, built-in speakers. You have three of them, actually five of them, two on the opposite side. To make it a more private, maybe movie area with your flat screen TV, bordered by that incredible wood finishes. And so that second bridge actually leads into the master, the primary bedroom, but we're not gonna go there yet. We're gonna go there last, obviously. Here is one of the first bedrooms upstairs. So the first bedroom upstairs, staged obviously for maybe a younger daughter as there is a lot of pink in here. And you have custom upgraded walls on the opposite side of the bed. We are front facing, looking into that cul-de-sac. I love this crystal looking like modern light fixture in the very center of this room. That is beautiful. I'm sure whoever is living here will love it. And you have closet space on the opposite side. It's also en suite, so you do have your own bathroom down this hallway. Pretty standard bathroom, but the same beautiful luxury finishes, quartz countertops, uh, toilet, then your tub, bright white tile going up to the ceiling, chrome shower head, but now let's lead out of here and show you what's next. All right, down this way. So now we're in front of the staircase immediately as we walked up. There's two bedrooms up here, one behind me and one in front of me. Follow me this way. Wow. Absolutely love the backsplash on the, of the wallpaper behind the bed. It is very similar to the one in, I don't know if you've seen one of my videos where I talked about Batman being Marvel, but that has over a million views. It's the same exact wallpaper that you see on this side of the bed. But now I know, here is a, a glimpse of the pillow with Batman once again. So as you see, that house was also built two and a half years ago as opposed to this one in 2022. So they're doing the same thing, obviously, as those homes have doubled in prices from when I first did that video, absolutely insane. Closet space in this room and it's en suite with a full bath. All right, so I really like the tile in this bathroom, honestly. It looks like a chrome finish. It goes all the way up to the ceiling, all the way down to the floors. Same finishes in the floating vanity. Built-in tub into the shower. And look at this, what we have right here. This sign, it says, every brother is a superhero, I'm sure, for every, any sibling, any brother that's living in here. You look at that every morning and you just think, this is gonna be a great day, honestly. So, shout out to you, all the brothers out there. So let's keep moving on, on to the next one. Staging, matches the theme of these rooms. And here we go. So look in here, just more Batman, honestly. Are they, are they teasing me? Because every room in here is just Batman like they did in those older model homes. But there we go, I love the brick wall. Honestly, it looks like an East Coast, New York style vibe on the backside of the bed. Good enough space in here to put a desk in front of the bed, flash screen TV. There is a walk-in closet directly in front of me on the opposite side of these windows. But now, this bathroom is a little bigger than the last one. Beautiful flooring in this bathroom. You can see it's sleek, it's shiny. It's not the same wood that you see in the bedroom. A nice transition. A little more space on the countertops in this vanity quartz countertops. No bathtub built into the shower, but the patterns in there are very cool. It does also look like the chrome styled tile that we saw in the last one, but a different pattern. Chrome shower head, of course. And did I say no bathtub? Because there's no bathtub, but 10 out of 10 in these rooms. I'm a big fan. But now I think there is one more bedroom that we have to check out and it's the primary. So follow me over there. 
All right, we're walking by the common area. Now onto that second bridge. Honestly, this is one of the most open feels to a second level that I've ever felt in any of these models. You can look down to the stairwell area, all the way to the front door from my angle here. And then behind me, you can look down into the kitchen, dining, living, those light fixtures, and there's more windows up above at eye level with me. So you can take on the views of the entire San Fernando Valley from behind me. But I just thought I had to mention that because that is a very nice touch. But now here's your grand entrance into the primary. It's a really good start. I love the Hollywood signs right here as we head in, but follow me. All right, down this dark hallway, we lead into the beautiful primary bedroom. It's very bright, very modern in here. Built-in speakers on the back side of the bed, upgraded walls, three windows to bring in natural sunlight to this space. And you do have a balcony to my left through this door. So here is your private balcony. This balcony is very similar to the house next door as well. I don't know if you guys saw that one, but click on the rest of my videos to check that one out. Modern fan directly above and a couple of recessed lights. Glass railing with the chrome handle that overlooks the incredible modern pool. Also, I gotta mention that backsplash behind the grill again. One of my favorites I've ever seen. I can't get enough of that. I'm honestly gonna look it up, I promise that. But look at this community still being built out is almost finished. I can't wait till it's gonna be done here because the prices are gonna be soaring and just hit me up if you wanna buy one because they are selling so quick. We're getting so many inquiries on those. But let's keep moving on and check out the bathroom of the bedroom. All right, here it is, here it is. You guys like what you're seeing so far because it is an incredible Toll Brothers bathroom. Obviously everything is fully upgraded in here. You have, you have one vanity on this side separated by a nice bench. And then the finish on this wall surrounding this oversized window is unbelievable. It's like a light blue tone. It goes all the way up to the ceiling and it borders this mirror above another vanity. Private toilet room on the opposite side of the tub right here. Very massive freestanding tub, deep soaking as well with a handheld shower head in there for your bathtub. And then the shower, last but not least, always not least, the shower, unbelievable. So look at this, the shower pattern on the tile looks like flowers. You have the book match stonework on your shower wall, chrome shower head, a recessed light above, the niche is on this side, same stone all throughout, as well as down here beneath, right next to your flowered tile flooring. The same pattern extends throughout the rest of this bathroom, except for in the closet, because you have some nice carpet in here. So here it is, your luxury closet. Every single space has LED light strips to brighten it up, add a nice depth to it. Here's where your accessory tray is with the pull out drawers. Put all your watches, your jewelry, et cetera, in there. What are you guys buying, a Rolex? I don't know, it's up to you, especially if you're living here. I think you might need one. And then you have this space with the glass doors, your shoe racks right next to the door. The door has a mirror on the bathroom side to it, but that was everything in here. What did you guys think of the closet, the bathroom, the primary bedroom? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. If you made it this far, hit the like button if you haven't already. Also subscribe, we're posting videos every single week. Let me know what you guys thought about this one and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.